Uh, the, the world is not stable and stationary. The likelihood is we will perhaps have another crisis. Of course, we should be thinking about the resilience of the system rather than thinking about any particular trigger. I think that's what people are looking for. Say, well, what would be the source of, of the next financial crisis? My current interest is really in systemic threats and understanding dynamics of how these systems fail and how they break down. I think we're a very optimistic organization, but these threats are quite pressing and they're becoming, they're becoming worse and they're compounding each other. The scale of the challenge in essentially emboldens us to, to keep going, heighten our level of ambition. Um, so there's a perverse motivation there that the, the scale of the challenges are such that we, the OECD's role becomes even more important and that we have to be realistic and then to come up with policy answers and policy solutions that are um, appropriate to that. The Queen's question, the Queen asked economists, why didn't they see the crisis coming? And the response was, well, it, it was a, a failure of the collective imagination. The global financial crisis told us about how we didn't really understand the links between the financial system and the economic system. But there's a whole set of other interactions. Uh, the environment is uh, perhaps one of the most pressing. We can have a healthy economy, but that can disguise vulnerabilities that are building within to think about uh, the, the well-being of people as being central, not just the, um, the growth uh, or the production or productivity even of our economies and firms and individuals. And I think organizationally too, we learned that having a unidimensional approach, just looking at economic issues in terms of different siloed perspectives, that we miss a lot of the systemic uh, interactions that are really not minor parts of the system. These really define the system. I think we have improved the tools and techniques that we used, like machine learning and big data. And I think gradually this is starting to transform and upgrade the capabilities that we use to analyze policy challenges. George Orwell has been very influential for, for me, whether it's uh, The Road to Wigan Pier, which I think was really uh, a really interesting treatise on what it meant to live during the Great Depression. Down and Out in Paris and London was also, again, trying to understand how people struggle. I think that's essential to what we do here at the OECD, and I think Orwell had a great insight. He also had insights into how systems work, and uh, so 1984, I'd have to say, was also something of an influence. I don't, I don't really believe in in mottos. I mean, do you have a personal motto? Yeah, it's always stay positive. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I like the spirit of what you're saying. There are reasons why we could um, be very downbeat, but. Um, yeah, I very much believe in what we're trying to do here. If, if there was a motto, I think it, it would be keep questioning. <laughs>